I've played AAU teams with six, eight nibbles and they didn't dunk on me. That's lit. A six, two scrawny dude, sophomore year is the only person in my life that dunked on me. Cold days, blown with a stone face. Rose drip to the bone and going his own way. Loaded on the trip to the cold and it's gone pay. All right, let's get, let's get to this story time now, fam. This is real life like a, uh, stamp in my high school career bro actually i think i'm gonna turn the music off because i'm probably gonna make this a little mini video so let me take y'all back bro we're gonna do a little quick story time let me take y'all back let me take y'all back so this is sophomore year in high school this is now pushing i'm 20 finna be 21 sophomore i was probably 16 bet so i was pushing probably like 16 i didn't start playing basketball for real till freshman year like I didn't play basketball none through middle school, not until my freshman year. So I'm trash. You know what I'm saying? I was not, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn and shit. Boom. Freshman year, I didn't make the basketball team because I didn't play. So we spent that entire summer, you know, me and my dad just training crazy, training, training, getting better, better understanding of basketball, AAU camps, AAU hooping, freaking trainers at 5 a.m., like all that. Like the whole nine, bro. We do that for a full year since I got cut freshman year i didn't i didn't get picked up freshman year. you know what i got a little confidence i'm doing good in my eight well yeah you know what i'm saying i will i ain't gonna say i'm doing good in the aau games but we getting somewhere you know what i'm saying we getting somewhere that's neither here or there sophomore year comes around i'm thinking i got this in a bag bro like i'm a solid six one at the time i'm like you know what i got this in a bag bro on god we go we go to trial you know at trials they do the typical normal I hear fam. Little drills and stuff you do. That's how they measure you and test you and everything. So I think the first drill they started off with was the three-man weave. One person in the middle, pass it to the, the person on the left or the right, and you make a weave in between, like full-on sprinting up and down the court. Person, the last person to get the ball got to lay it up, and you turn back and do it again. Simple, right? We did that. Ain't nothing to it. We breeze through it. Easy. Literally breeze through it is easy. Had bro training on God. Yo, what's good? That guy on God, we was training, training like crazy. The next drill comes up. The next drill is, um, it's a little defensive drill. So basically, one person stays down down two people run down and have to run back and score on the one person so it's basically a two-on-one drill simple you would think you know what i'm saying it's not really difficult because a lot of people at this time couldn't really there's a lot of kids at the trials that's not as advanced as you would say you got your uh, obviously like advanced group but like not everybody's advanced that i do pretty good on that drill i'm thinking yeah bro i'm, I'm feeling confident now i'm feeling confident i'm like yeah we got this like yeah one-on-one -on -one drills come on so the drill i just said the two-on-one, it's the same thing, but instead it's one-on-one. -on -one. Coach is going to roll the ball down the court. Someone has to run and go get it. The other person has to stand up. We lay it on our backs, by the way. What, he's going to roll it down. The one person has to, she's going to call somebody's name, and somebody has to sprint down, get the ball from half court, and come back and score. The other person's on his back. Once he say go, you got to get up and play defense. Pretty simple, pretty simple, pretty simple. Boom. I don't know this nigga name. I forgot his name, bro. But it was this one like 6'2 dude. And I swear to God, bro, he was scrawny. He was like this little, he was like the tall stick. I'm a tall stick too. So, bro, I'm a tall stick, but I don't have bunnies, right? I don't have crazy hop. My naive self is thinking everybody's on that same type of timing. So I'm thinking... You know what? No way he he ain't doing nothing crazy because we the same build. Literally the exact same build. So I'm like, I can't dunk. He ain't doing nothing crazy. Let me tell you right now, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. He picks up the ball, makes a jab move. I don't fall for the jab, but he's fat. So he jabs and go. He doesn't jab and just stay. He literally jab move and went the same way. I was like, whoa. So now I'm on his back end tailing him, right? So now I'm behind him. Let me show y'all. Me, is I'm him. I'm the dude that dunked on me. He's right here and I'm slightly behind him. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna blast this because he's going super slow. He, he jabbed to the right, so he's going to the right. I'm like, bro, I'm finna glass this, no cap. I'm running after him. Tell me why I smacked the ball, but as I smacked the ball, like tipped the ball a little bit, bro, his whole wrist is in the rim like this. I'm running, bro, like, oh my God. I'm running behind him. I somehow managed to get to the point where I can block the ball. I tipped the ball. My fingertips touched the ball, bro. I literally touched the ball. Bro, took that block, cuffed the ball, and put his whole wrist in the rim. All I hear is, oh, oh, oh. 
Coach, bro. Do you know what the, oh my, the coach was glazing this man, bro. The coach started glazing this man. He was not even that good. I swear, bro, I swear. Cause bro, he was not even that good, bro. Coach was just glazing him. And I know he was glazing him cause junior year I was on the team and that nigga was not on the team. And he tried out for me. He tried out the same way I tried out. He's not that good, bro. Uh, nah, the gym going crazy. Instant glaze, come on. Like, bro. I'm talking when I'm talking about the gym is going crazy. All you hear is, oh my, like, damn, nah, it was bad. Mind you, I'm 16 at the time. I'm not like, I'm not no popular nibble or nothing like that. So I'm a, I'm really a to myself type of dude. So I'm like, all right, I ain't thinking of nothing of it. So that drill goes by and I'm in my head about that drill the entire day. The entire day I'm in my head about that drill. I'm like, dang, I really got dunked on. But then I'm like, bro, I blocked the ball. He ain't dunk on me. I blocked the ball. It just happened to roll in. That was, that was the excuse I was telling myself. I ain't, he ain't, bro, he ain't dunk on me. I blocked the ball and it rolled in. That's what I went with. I swear to God. I was like, you know what? Yeah, he ain't dunk on me. I guess, I guess. But in my head, I swear to God, I was like, bro, I blocked the ball and it rolled in. I'm, I'm going with that time the day I die. That's literally how I was talking. Boom. Tryouts is over. After a couple drills, well, let me get let me get more in depth with the story. So after that drill, I was in my head about that specific thing. Nah, whole wrist in the rim is crazy. Fam, he had hops. I didn't think he had hops. I swear to God, I did. bro. When I say he literally was the exact same build as me, Bro, if I had a picture of me in sophomore year, bro, I was a scrawny tall kid. Like I was skinny as a. I have like more, you know what I'm saying? I'm like more bigger now. But like I was scrawny, I was super scrawny, fam. Like scrawny as hey. But like I did not expect him to do that. Boom. I have this one dude that I know. The girl that he liked. He the one dude that knows that tryouts. I don't want to say his name or not, but like the one, the one girl that he liked liked me on such shit. So boom, I have him in my class. He, okay, and I don't wanna, I'm going everywhere with the story. I gotta go in order first. It's locking, it's locking, let's go in order. So boom, I'm in my head about the drill. We go to the W Riz. I'm in my head about the drill. The next drill goes on. I do pretty good, it's a shooting drill. I do pretty decent on the shooting drill. I'm not too shabby with the shooting drill, so I'm like, all right, maybe I can bounce back. The next drill is the scrimmages. And I'm gonna be real, bro. In high school, I was the type of hooper that was like, bro, in a in a one-on-one -on -one setting with nobody in the gym, I can cook. In a one-on-one -on -one setting with people in the gym, I can cook. But for some reason, I hated this about myself. I don't know what happens. Bro, I lack confidence when it's a 515 and people are in the gym. I don't know why, bro. In middle school, I had a confidence issue when it came to basketball. I wasn't trash, bro. I was better than a lot of people, a lot of people in high school, bro. But because I lacked confidence, it didn't show. Like it didn't look at like it didn't look like that at all, bro. We do the five on five scrimmages, and I'm out there looking completely lost. Like com I'm talking about to the point where like Nimbus is questioning if I even hoop for real. Niggas is like. Bro, what is he doing? Get in front of the hoes. It's a it's a gym full of nibbas, fam. What do you mean? It's a gym full of nibbas. That the 515 drill ends, and that's the end of trials. Simply like that. That is the end of trials. The next morning comes. They said they're gonna put the list out. <sighs> we gonna check the list. Guess what? Once again, sophomore year, we are cut. No hooping for me. I think that's JV. Sophomore year, we didn't make JV. We cut. Simply put, and guess who name made the list? The nibble who dunked on me. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, I'm sitting there mad. Like, bro, he's not even that good, fam. That's so glazed, bro. It's so glazed. Cause it was, it was literally, bro. One thing about high school sports, bro, coaches glaze. Like they for sure glaze. Don't let them tell you they don't. Bro, coach, high school coaches in any sport glaze, bro. On God, they do. Boom. That's not even the worst part about the story. I didn't make the team, right? I didn't make the team. Fam, we have him. In, I have him in my chemistry crash. Chemistry crash? 
speech impediment of doom. I have them in my chemistry class. That's my last period of the day. I'm mad the entire day and I'm in my feelings because I, I got cut, you know? Like I worked hard, bro. Like I literally trained the entire summer just to get cut. Like I, I felt defeated. And let me tell you the cherry on top. We go to chemistry class. This is the last period of the day. I'm chilling. I'm just like, I'm down. I'm talking to the girl that he liked and then my other friend at the time. You know what I'm saying? We, we cool and chopping it up. He instantly walks in the classroom on BS. I swear to God, bro. Instantly walks into the classroom on BS. He was like, get a load of this guy. Yo, this guy? And then he was like, yo, ain't you the dude that got dunked on? Bro, he said this in chemistry class. We have a bunch of popular, like, thug ad nibbles. So you know they finna drag it, bro. You know they finna drag it. You know they finna drag it, bro. These niggas drug it, bro. They drug the whole situation. Bro, bro made it seem like I'm sitting here. I got tomahawk. Like, I'm talking about bro said, Rah! like, bro. I'm like, fam, it's not even like that. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. They was like, what? What? So the entire chemistry, the entire chemistry class, bro. The literally the entire chemistry class from top to bottom is nothing but me getting disgust of getting dunked on. I swear to God. And this nip bro. I yo, it was bad, fam. I remember I put my headphones in because I didn't want to hear it. Cause it was literally just yapping BS. I put my headphones in. I didn't want to hear it. Cupid, I'm trying to tell the story, buddy. Thugs are trash. Thugs are trash as hey. Boom. I freaking, um, what I leave off? I'll put my headphones in. Bro, tell me why this nigga grabs a clip of some random dude in the NBA getting dunked on and literally like held it up to my face, bro. Now, if I smack his phone out of his hand, I'm in the wrong. Bro, I'm trying to cheat. They was dragging it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm literally just trying to chill. They dragging it. Bro, for like a good month, every time I seen anybody in school, I was getting referred to as the person that got dunked on during basketball. Bro, it was so bad to the point where like, I remember football players was coming up to me. It was like, bro, how do you get dunked on during tryouts, fam? And I'm like, yo. And this is why I hate about like the school settings, bro. Cause like, Anybody, if you're playing real defense, you're more than likely to get dunked on, bro. You know what? Like, bro, realistically, if you're playing real defense, you're gonna get dunked on eventually. Like, that's what I'm talking. Like, what? Like, I'm I'm mad. I'm like, bro. So I wasn't supposed to play defense. We're trying out. I'm trying my hardest. What do you? What are we talking about? I'm trying my hardest, fam. I literally blocked the ball. He just got. I, he flipped it, rolled it in. Like, I don't know what to say, bro. He did a good play. He dunked on me. I don't... That's the only time I've ever been dunked on in my life, too. That's crazy. That's the only... Bro, I played AAU teams with 6'8 nibbles, and they didn't dunk on me. That's lit. A 6'2 scrawny dude, sophomore year, is the only person in my life that dunked on me. Yeah, I can't lie. I've been nammed on plenty of times. What? But, like, if it happens if you play good defense. In school, kids got this, like, random concept of something. Like, bro... They think it's like bad. Like it's it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty it's pretty bad. But like, if you playing real defense, fam, it's not gonna like you're, it's gonna happen. Same thing with getting broken or shifted, bro. They treat that like that's the end of the world, fam. If you're playing real defense, it's bound to happen to you, bro. You're not invincible, bro. PG got dunked on. LeBron has been dunked on. Literally, LeBron has been dunked on. What are we talking about? But that's yeah, that's the little story about how I got dunked on. Bro, it lasted for like a good month. People referring to me as getting like the kid that got dunked on. 10 viewers, come on, hold on, I didn't even see that. Appreciate everybody for tuning in to the stream. Y'all just sat here and watched me tell my pain about getting dunked on. That's a little, that's my little two cent, you know what I'm saying? My little two cent story, bro. I just wanted to get that on my chest because freaking, bro. Like I remember that, like that time frame, that month was like pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, it's up there with the 51 situation from middle school. Like, nibbles who know the 51 situation? No. It was to the point where random people, and that's when it, that's when it irritates me. If it's within like a friend group, that's cool on God. But when random people I don't even know come up to me talking about some, yo, you got dunked on? Skinny fuck, mixing up the turpies, got me lifted up. Quick combust, you better pack your bags before you sit with us.